everybody. Uh, this is a, another part of the tire ball installation. Uh, as you guys see, I think you can see, I've got 13 tire balls in a 20 inch, a 2011 by 9 regular razor uh, from Maxxis. Uh, there's 13 2004 balls in here. Uh, they're the motocross 20 inch rear tire balls. Uh, these are the ones that I like the best anyway. Uh, real quick though, I'm going to show you how we throw one of these onto a Hyper 9x9 dual beadlock wheel. Just ahead of time, I went ahead and I also sprayed everything down with silicone. So I'm going to try to make this go fast. Let's go. Huh. Told you, everything sprayed with silicone. tire up and over there it is now I went ahead prior and I also uh, put all the never sees and everything onto all the bolts so this is the back ring what I'm gonna do with the back ring now is I'm gonna take them every single bolt and just take it down a couple threads. We don't want to tighten the back yet. We'll never get the front on. Just get them all started. Flip over to the front. Now, on the front side, or the outside of the tire, uh, on Douglas wheels, or, or any single beadlock rear wheel, you're going to have to use these. They're little, three little pieces of all thread, about three inches long, washers and nuts on them. And what you do is, because the tire is going to be sitting so far off the rim, you take, you know, every was it every third bolt or fourth bolt bolt out and you put those in there and then you thread them in to the wheel all three of them and then start running the nuts down the nuts will pull the ring down enough to where you're able to get one of the hyper bolts started but as you see with dual beadlock wheels they don't have that problem that's why I like them so much. But uh, pretty much what you saw me do on the front wheels as far as tightening these up, it's exactly what I'm going to do again. I'm going to tighten this side up now that all the bolts on the back are, uh, are, are just threaded in, just a few threads. The front, I will tighten down. I'll flip the tire back over. Tighten the back down, and we're done. See how tire balls are in it, and it's a dual beadlock wheel. I don't have to air it up and pop a bead on or anything. I'll leave the tire pressure up to the customer if he even wants to run air over the tire balls. So I hope that explained a little bit more, especially on the rear wheels. Thanks.